in this part of the show of course we will take a look at what we expect in the english premier league but i want us to begin with some uh, athletics action and lower conservancy plans to extend its reach beyond communities surrounding the 65,000 acre wilderness ahead of the 24th edition of the lewa safari marathon the conservancy now seeks to raise more funds to enable its projects. Jeff Mogire went on a tour of the projects run by the Conservancy and filed the following report. Safari Marathon has been a blessing to the community surrounding Lewa Conservancy. Hundreds of families have been beneficiaries of the entire project. For the very first time, we bring you close home to see what the marathon has done. The money raised from the marathon is allocated into projects that benefit the communities. These projects range from healthcare, education, and women empowerment. Purity Kinoti, who now heads the education department, is one of the beneficiaries. She went to university courtesy of Lewa Marathon. I started off with Lewa back in 2011 uh, when Lewa gave me a university scholarship to pursue my uh, bachelor's degree in education. So I am a teacher and an educator. Um, my job is so interesting because uh, it's not just a job. It's also an opportunity for me to serve uh, this conservancy that really gave me an opportunity to be who I am uh, and also to inspire others and to work with the children in the schools and also uh, the girls in the communities. Uh, being a beneficiary of the scholarship program that has so far uh, graduated over 800 uh, boys and girls from these communities, I feel very much um, attached to what the conservancy does, I have come to love it. I have come to really appreciate conservation. Students in schools around Lewa have been introduced to digital learning, thanks to the Lewa Marathon. At the moment, uh, I can say that we are happy and privileged to have the resources to currently be preparing about 350 other students uh, for the society out there. So we have about 350 currently uh, on full scholarship. And we really hope that these opportunities will give uh, these young people an opportunity to serve this nation from a different uh, level and to be useful citizens. A teacher by profession, Purity is now back not to teach but to see more or less privileged students benefit like she did. I believe that my story is able to inspire young girls from the community on a daily basis, is able to inspire young boys as well uh, and to show them that it is possible to come from these communities and also to come from these schools that, you know, somewhat some may consider as a low ranking schools and just have the confidence to pursue your dreams and to make it in life. You know, there is nothing nice as when you see your seed sprout, grow and start producing another seed. And stories of people like Purity, who is heading the education program and many others, is the walking testament of the marathon that a child can be born, a child can be supported, a child can be educated, and that same child can grow up and come and do what was done for them, reciprocity. And this is what this uh, Lewa Safari Marathon is all about. It is actually transforming people and it is evident when we have such kind of walking testament. Lewa Marathon has been here for the last 24 years. Its fruits have now trickled down to the communities around the conservancy. 12 kilometers away from Njugi Secondary School is in Tumburi community. Here, women are empowered. They are funded by the proceeds from the marathon to improve their livelihoods in their communities. Bendet Nafula is one of them. She's a farmer. The profits here are good enough. This is Mama Nafula's farm. She's one of the beneficiaries of uh, Lewa Conservancy and also the marathon that happens here annually. 
she has been able to do farming here to feed her family the money that they get from leo conservancy comes straight here this lewa conservancy has helped many people including mamanafula here to continue with the livelihoods to support their families support these communities and their families at large now you can see how the money from the marathon field of play transitions from field of play to economical activities such as this which boost the economies and improve people's livelihoods your support is more important for this to have a continuity in the future lewa conservancy sits on 65,000 acres of pristine african wilderness from meru county and stretches into isiola county around this wilderness there are clinics by lewa conservancy they help the communities here to easily access health care deliveries and minor surgeries are conducted here uh we have four clinics that are supported by lewa and the bigger chunk of uh, Lewa Safari Marathon that comes to community development goes to healthcare. The four clinics are distributed evenly uh, according to the Lewa clusters. We have four clusters. So we have these main clinics the, at the Lewa headquarters. We have one in the Parua, we have one the western side, and another one the southern side. So the clinics are distributed evenly so that people around us can access healthcare, which is very important to the people around our area. Um, Lower Marathon funds is important. We have just finalized doing uh, uh, equipping and developing two more laboratories in the Lepara Clinic and the other one, the uh, Southern the Trimiti Clinic. So we have now all our clinics are functional, equipped more with modern equipment and technology laboratories. So any patient that comes to our clinic has to be accessed as to undergo the laboratory techniques evaluation so that the medics or the clinicians are aware what are they prescribing for the patient and the client that comes to our clinic. Sponsors who have supported the marathon from the very beginning can now see where the money goes. Communities around Lewa and Far are now embracing conservation for its benefits. It's, I'm just so happy to see that um, the funding, you know, from all, you know, all the Kenyans who are running, who are supporting this, um, from Safaricom, who's a sponsor, is just coming back to communities, and it's impacting communities pos positively, so that the people from here can actually go out and thrive. But it's at a community level, which I really love. Sports is a major passion point that we support, and Lewa in terms of athletics is just another angle for, 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 uh, in terms of that. So for me, I, th I see sports as it's something enjoyable. You get For some of us, it's, it allows us to get away from our desks in Nairobi and actually get fit. Um, but for people who are actually really good at it, it can, it can change their lives and their communities' lives. The marathon event is not just about running. It's about raising money, and it's not just about raising money, it's about raising money to do transformation of lives of people. Hence the reason why that money, everybody that sweats on that main day, Lewa is left now with the supporters bringing money together to go and transform lives of people through programs in healthcare, education, water development, you know, conservation, and even life for wildlife. So this event, is no longer a calendar event, it's a culture, it's a movement because everybody knows young and old comes together, put, on, put their efforts, put their best foot forward because they know everybody's efforts counts in changing the lives of people. And that is what the Lewa Safari Marathon can easily be summarized to be. These are just few projects run by Lewa Conservancy. There are many more and beneficiaries are people from surrounding communities. The Lewa event started just like any other marathon, but now it has grown into a culture. Jeff Mogire, KTN News, Meru County. Well, Jeff Mogire visited the Lewa Conservancy and uh, has highlighted the impact of the Lewa Marathon. Remember, this is the edition 